In his day, Rafael Caro Quintero was considered one of the biggest drug traffickers in the world. One of three founding members of the Guadalajara cartel, in the 1980s the group was thought to be responsible for transporting the majority of the cocaine consumed in the United States. Caro Quintero's organization worked closely with Colombian drug traffickers, particularly the notorious leader of the Medellin cartel, Pablo Escobar, who produced the cocaine in the Andes. But Rafael Caro Quintero was eventually apprehended, not on drug smuggling charges, but for the torture and murder of a DEA agent, Enrique Kiki Camarena, in 1985. Amid a massive manhunt for the cartel leaders, Caro Quintero fled Mexico but was arrested in Costa Rica. In Mexico City, he was charged with the DEA agent's killing and sentenced to 40 years in jail. He's served 28 years of that prison term, but now a court has overturned the ruling, saying he should have been tried at a regional court in Guadalajara rather than in a federal trial in the capital. Although his release has been ordered, it is not immediately clear whether the former drug lord will be allowed to go free. There are potentially other charges pending, or he might face possible extradition to the United States for drug-related crimes. Nor has the court cleared him of Enrique Camarena's death, a step which would cause significant scandal, particularly among Washington-based drug enforcement agencies, where the murdered operative is heralded as a hero. Will Grant, BBC News, Mexico.